In case you don't know what Super Hot is, it's basically a first person shooter where time freezes when you stop moving. Or more accurately, time slows down when you stop moving. Super Hot has received amazingly positive reviews. It's unique, it's fun, it makes you feel like you're in the Matrix. But why exactly does it all work together so well? I want to talk about three main design points that I think are at least a small part of why Super Hot is great. First of all, the color scheme. It's very reminiscent of Mirror's Edge, with lots of white everywhere and then red for important or unusual objects. In Mirror's Edge, the red is primarily to guide your character, but in Super Hot, the red is there to guide your eye. Because it only has two colors, the red stands out a lot. This means that enemies stand out, but more importantly, bullets stand out. A huge part of Super Hot is seeing incoming bullets and maneuvering yourself to avoid them. The main problem with this in theory is that bullets are tiny and quite hard to see where they're going. Super Hot uses its color scheme to help make them much more visible. The bullets themselves are black, but they leave behind a bright red trail as soon as they leave a gun. This makes them stand out against everything else in the environment and background, letting the player see exactly what he needs to avoid. Second, the ammo counter, or lack of one. Throughout the entire game, you never know exactly how many bullets the gun you're holding has left, whereas pretty much any other shooter has an ammo counter on the bottom. Part of the reason for its absence is to keep the interface as clean as possible, but I think the main reason is to force you to change up your strategy on the go. Because you don't know how many bullets you have left, often you'll wait until an enemy is in just the right place and shoot, only to find that your ammunition is depleted. You have to quickly figure out what to do next without leaning on your weapon that you've been using. With an ammo counter, you could predict exactly when the game will shake up your plan, which makes it not much of a shakeup. Finally, the aiming reticle. More specifically, the reloading reticle. Every time you shoot, it takes a second to reload or re-prepare your gun. In a more traditional shooter, this time would be indicated by a noise or some kind of visual animation that takes a set amount of time. And once you've reloaded once or twice, you would know exactly how long reloading takes in that particular game. The problem with this in Super Hot is that time isn't exactly consistent because it's constantly speeding up and slowing down, so it would be difficult to quickly tell how soon you can fire again. So if time isn't consistent, then what is? The answer is visuals. The aiming reticle in the center of the screen rotates every time you fire, and then slowly goes back to normal as you're reloading. Once it's straight, it means you can fire again. You can always see exactly how close you are to being able to fire the next shot, regardless of how fast time is moving at the moment. Alright, that's it for this video. If you've played Super Hot yourself, feel free to talk about anything I missed in the comments. Super. Oh.